New signs promoting walking and biking are up in downtown Macon. 41 NBC's Alexa Rodriguez joins us now with more on the group that started the project. The Macon League of Creative Interventionists uses public art to break down social barriers. The group tries to get strangers talking to each other and build up the community. Their latest project are these walking signs that you can find in downtown Macon. They put them up to encourage people to walk and show off their favorite spots in downtown. We thought this was the perfect opportunity to use some creativity to get people walking around Macon. Did you know it's a four minute walk to a barber shop from the Macon Bib Government Center? Everybody shared their ideas about what their favorite spaces were in Macon. But it's not just local businesses. The Little Library is one, the giant uh, Coleman Hill slide is one. The Macon League of Creative Interventionists' new walking signs can point you in the right direction. People drive a lot and we just want people to start walking and we just want people to find out about some spaces that they maybe didn't know about before. Every one of these signs has this little code that you can scan. Now using your smartphone, just go to the App Store and download any QR scanner app for free. Then you open it and put it up against the scanner and it will open a web page with directions on how to get to that next location. I think it's a fantastic idea, especially, you know, promoting the walking culture of downtown. It's a wonderful place to walk and the signs just made perfect sense to us. Robinson Home is one location featured on the signs. Instead of saying Robinson Home, we thought that was a creative way to say, hey, you may not know that Robinson Home also offers a cooking class. 22 signs in all. They start at the Otis Redding statue, then they stretch all the way to Mercer Village. Highlighting Macon's hidden gems. I was very adamant about adding the labyrinth at Rose Park. Um, that's one of my favorite spaces. And making the downtown community's bond a little tighter. This person getting this walkability and the, these, putting these signs together is really just their way of contributing to downtown and making downtown a better place. Knight Foundation helps fund the League of Creative Interventionists. They're given $100 a month for their projects. Still ahead on the news at 6 with a new football coach headed between the hedges. Tucker and Bill are ranting and raving on if 